What up, what up, Wimboys here, and today I'm excited to show you guys how to make this. Now, crazy enough, I actually made this in Adobe After Effects using the Metal Mantra plugin. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to take a 2D logo, make it into 3D, export that out for Adobe Aero. And so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by having After Effects open. I'm gonna come over here to my left-hand side, come down to Composition. I'm gonna make a new composition. Let's just name this one, um, I'll just name it Winbush underscore arrow. Then we're gonna make it 1920 by 1080. Frame rate doesn't matter. Duration, two frames is fine. Click okay. Okay, so now I have my composition open. So the next thing I wanna do is bring in my logo that I wanna use. And so I'm gonna use this logo right here. I'm just going to click and drag. This is just a PNG. Let me bring that down into my composition. And my logo is pretty large. It, I'm not going to shrink it inside my composition. I'm actually going to make a solid because I'm going to add Metal Mantra onto this solid. And then we'll be able to control our scaling from there. So I have this black solid. Make sure I hit make comp size. I'm just going to leave everything else as, as it is. Click OK. Okay, so now on my right hand side under my effects and presets, I'm going to type in mantra. And I'm going to find the one that says mantra graphics. So I'm going to click and drag that into my effects control panel. Or you could click and drag it down to your, your solid that you made down there. So now I have this attributes window up here. And I'm going to go over to projected layer, click on my PNG logo. And there we go. Now we have our logo in the middle of our composition. And right now you can see it kind of has like a fish lens effect. And that's because with Mantra, we can actually use it for 360 VR as well. But since we want to just export this out the arrow, I'm going to come over to my frame rate layout and I'm going to make it flat. So rectangular flat, like if I was going to use this for TV or something, I would use rectangular flat because that allows me to work in a flat, um, a flat medium. But if I was going to use VR, you can also come over here and use it for mono VR or stereoscopic VR. But for our purposes, I'm gonna keep it at rectangular flat. Then I'm gonna come over here under extrusion and let's extrude our depth on our logo. Let me scale this up a little bit. So around 500 and you're not really gonna see the extrusion because everything is flat. We have to add a light to it. So under my light here in my attributes panel, I'm going to enable my point light. And now you can see that we're starting to see some of the extrusion depth in here. And I can move this over. Like the light, I don't believe will transfer over to arrow since that's gonna use the real world lighting, but just so that we can see what we're working with, I'm just gonna move this light a little bit. And now we can start seeing the shadows and everything. Let me add some extrusion. So around 10 is good there. We have some bubbled extrusion on the edges there. And I think we're pretty good to go. And so um, now we just want to export it out for Arrow, which we have these two settings down here. The one that we want to use is the GLT. So I'm gonna hit export here. Then I'm just gonna find where I want to export it to. So let me make a new folder here. Call it GL, what is it? GLTF. Okay, now I'm gonna just name this one Wimbush logo, underscore logo, and click save. And if you give out a few moments, it should save out a file into that folder. So let me come under my folder I just made. And now it made a GLB file, which if you're working on Windows and Windows Explorer, you'll see it start to spin here. And don't, don't worry, it's gonna keep our color and everything, but if you double click on it, it would actually open it up in a 3D viewer that's included on Windows, you can actually see your 3D logo that you just made in After Effects. So everything looks pretty good from here. So the next step is we wanna drag it into our Adobe Creative Cloud folder so that we can export it to Arrow. So I'm just gonna right click on my File Explorer, make another window here. And over on your left-hand side, if you're a part of the Creative Cloud, you should have a separate folder over here called Creative Cloud Files. So I wanna go down to Project Arrow, double click on that, go to Input Assets, 
and then I'm going to click and drag my file into that folder. And as you can see, well, it's already uploaded, but if you have a larger file, there was like a little blue arrow pointing left and right. That means that it's uploading. And now we have a check mark and that means that it's exported out the arrow. So now I'm going to go into my iPad and then I'll take it from there and show you guys how to bring that into arrow. Okay, so I have my iPad ready. I'm gonna click on Adobe Arrow here, open this up. Now I'm gonna go down to my left-hand corner, click Create New. Then it's gonna ask for a surface. So I'm gonna find my surface. Let's see if I could get a little bit more of the surface. Let me stand back a little bit. I guess that's good. We have an anchor point there now. So I'm gonna tap on there. I'm gonna click the plus symbol, go to Creative Cloud. Now I'm gonna go to Project Arrow. Go to my input assets. And then there we go. We have the main gear logo. I'm gonna click open. I'm gonna tap it right there. And then if I use two fingers, I can actually scale it up or I can scale it down. If I use one finger, I can move it around the mouse pad here. So yeah, right there is a good spot. You can even add some animation to it. So if I click on my logo, go down to behaviors, and then go on trigger. Let me click on touch. So when I touch the logo, it's actually gonna animate. So after touch, we click on action and we have a whole bunch of actions here. Let's say, um, let's say we wanted to spin. So I'm gonna click the check mark and then I'm gonna tap off it. I'm gonna come up to preview, click preview. Now I can even record this as well. So now I'm in preview mode. And this is anchored down pretty well. So I can move in close to it. You can move all around it. And if I even go off the screen, so let's say I come over here, then I move back to my item, it's all anchored in place. And remember that animation that we added? So if I tap on it, it's actually rotating our logo. So you can actually customize animations and bring them in like in my last tutorial, or if you wanna use the ones that are built into Adobe Arrow, like this right here, you have that flexibility as well. And if you look down on my mouse pad, you can actually see the lighting from the real world casting the shadow from our logo onto the mouse pad, which is cool in itself. So that's pretty much a breakdown on if you wanna build your logo out real quick in After Effects, use a Metal Mantra export it out and it's just that simple to bring it into Adobe Arrow and get your AR project started. So as always, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Just as a disclaimer, I know I'm using the main gear logo, but they're actually not sponsoring this video. As you can see, like I have the new main gear mouse pad. I have the chair here that I use on a daily basis. I'm even using the main gear PC, but they're not sponsoring this video. I just thought that the main gear logo is like nice, sleek and modern. So it'd be a perfect example on how you could take like a 2D logo build it into 3D and bring it into Adobe Arrow. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. As always, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Keep creating and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Take care.